case studies help us to appreciate the concepts better. So in this lecture, I will be taking a real life example to demonstrate the concepts of time value of money and internal rate of return. So the internal rate of return concept, which we had studied in the last lecture, last video, uh, I would be demonstrating with a very practical example. So that is the objective of this lecture today. Uh, I had taken an example of a food processing industry and we had done an energy audit for this food processing industry. And what was suggested to the company by us was that we would be installing a waste heat recovery equipment. That is a food processing industry and uh, because there was some energy which was being wasted, that energy which was being wasted in the form of the hot flue gases, hot exhaust gases which you see over here. So we proposed then that uh, we can install a waste heat recovery unit and that waste heat recovery unit would save us the fuel. Uh, we estimated the life of the heat recovery equipment as five years from the manufacturer's catalog and we calculated for them that the savings because of installing the waste heat recovery that amounted to about rupees 5000 in terms of money so it would be energy savings and then we valued that uh, in terms of money and uh, considering that money let us say that the savings which was to be accrued was uh, about 5000 rupees okay as i said one dollar is about 70 rupees uh, we are talking about Indian national rupees, right? So you can use any, the uh, currency is not important. You need to remember the concept here, right? So that was the proposal by us and uh, the capital cost which we had calculated for the West Eighth Recovery Unit was to be about 20,000 rupees. So one was to calculate the net present value at the discount rate of 25%. So this example we would be calculating the net present value and what is given is the discount rate is 25 percent the meaning of discount rate being 25 percent is that uh, this company which uh, was a food processing industry that would get uh, alternative income okay by investing 20 thousand rupees as 25 percent right so that was the meaning of the net present value of being at 25 percent now let us see that whether at this discount rate of 25 percent the net present value is positive or negative if the net present value comes to be positive we would say that this project is financially viable at a discount rate of 25 percent if it is negative then you would say that this project is not financially viable at the discount rate of 25 percent okay as i said that the criteria for making a decision on the net present value is that if the net present value is positive accept the project if it is negative reject the project on the basis of economic analysis financial analysis so let us calculate the net present value you are given the cash flow and the cash flow we are assuming to be the same for every year and for the next five years so the at the end of the year one the cash flow was five thousand rupees at the end of the year two again we were getting five thousand rupees third year also the cash flow was 5000 fourth year also the saving was 5000 and fifth year also the saving is 5000 okay so it doesn't mean that the total saving is 25000 okay it's not 5000 plus 5000 plus 5000 plus 5000 plus 5000 that is 5000 five times is 25000 but that is not the savings we need to calculate the real value the present value of the savings and for that the discount rate is given to be 25 percent okay so how do you calculate that so the formula is cf1 upon 1 plus 0.25 raised to 1 plus cf2 upon 1 plus 0.25 raised to 2 plus cf3 upon 1 plus 0.25 raised to 3 plus cf4 upon 1 plus 0.25 raised to 4 plus cf5 upon 1 plus 0.25 raised to 5 okay where cf is 5000 in each case right that becomes the present value minus the initial investment 20,000 that is how you calculate the net present value so if you do this calculation what you'll get is the present value of 5,000 at the end of first year is 4,000 it goes on progressively reducing and at the end of five fifth year 
that 5,000 is actually worth only 16,100 rupees, right? So adding up this, what you'll get is the savings which you we, which we had thought that the savings is actually 30,000. Okay, without considering time value of money, what we have found is that actually the savings is only 13,500 rupees, about 13,500 rupees, right? And hence, because the savings is less than the initial investment, the net present value is negative. And hence, we conclude that the project is not financially attractive project at the given discount rate. Okay, so this is how the net present value was calculated and the decision was taken based on the net present value. So this example helps us to understand how do we apply the net present value. The next, uh, next concept which we had learned was IRR. So then we would be interested in knowing that, okay, the returns are not 25%, then how much would be the returns from this investment? Okay, so invest, suppose the investor is asking you, that okay, you are getting the net present value as negative. Then at what, what is the rate of return for me if I'm going to invest in the waste heat recovery project which you are suggesting, right? So for that, we need to calculate the IRR. How do you calculate the IRR? By assuming some value at the start by trial and error because it is not 25. So it would be less than 25 because with 25, you are getting the net present value as negative. So obviously the returns are less than 25%. So let us start with the value of some arbitrarily, you can take any value, but I had taken a value of 70 and I had calculated again the present value of the savings. So now with this 17%, it is one plus 0.17 raised to one, one plus 0.17 raised to two, one plus 0.17 raised to three, likewise. So that goes in the denominator and numerator remains 5,000 in each case. So the present value the first year becomes 4,200 and progressively it goes on decreasing and that present value is the fifth year is only 2,200 or 5,000 rupees, okay? So again, if you add this, you'll find that this is about 16,000 and which is less than the initial investment. So obviously uh, this value, because this is negative, the net present value is negative, we need to again reduce this value of i. So what it means is that we are not going to get the returns even at 17%. It is not 25%, it's not 17%. Again, reduce it. Let us take it as 10%. Okay, let us take it as 10%. So again, I had calculated the present value using the net and discounted as 10%. I have discounted the present values. So 5,000 becomes 4,500. 5,000 becomes 4,100 at the end of second year. At the end of third year, it becomes 3,700 at the end of fourth and fifth year, it becomes 3,400 and 3,100 respectively. Okay, adding up this again, right? You get a present value, which is around 19,000, but yet it is less than 20,000. Okay, so what it means is that this internal rate of return of this project, which you are suggesting in the form of first heat recovery equipment is less than 10%, okay? So even at 10%, it is not attractive. Let us now further reduce it to some value which is less than 10. So I had taken it as 7. Okay, so if you take it as 7 and again calculate the present value, so 5000 upon 1.07, 5000 upon 1.07 square, 5000 upon 1.707 cube, 5000 upon 1.07 as to 4, 5000 upon 1.07 as to 5, and add up this present value of the savings, we find that the present value now comes marginally positive. Okay, and because it is marginally positive by 500 rupees, it is positive, right? It means that the return is now closer to seven. Okay, it would be slightly, uh, slightly more than seven, but it is not nine, it is not eight like this, okay? So we have now calculated if that the internal rate of return is about 7%, it is slightly more than 7%. So this, this way, this way, if you go on, you can prepare excess sheet, spreadsheet, and go on calculating these present values, and finally arrive at a very specific value of internal rate of return. And that gives you an idea, because net present value does not give you an idea of what is the return. It would simply say that the project is viable or unviable at a given discount rate. The beauty of net internal rate of return is that it tells you what return one you are once what return one is going to get because of an investment in the solar project or energy audit project or any project which is going to give you the savings, right? So this is the advantage of internal rate of return. I hope that this concepts of net present value and internal rate of return 
are extremely clear to you and you will be in a position now to do your own financial audit. Thank you very much. Bye for now.